Continuing our introduction to public health, let's look at some of the things that those who work in public health have done, their achievements, what, what has been done in public health to improve the health of the U.S. population. Here is a list of the top 10 U.S. public health achievements in the 20th century. Number one is vaccinations, followed by safer workplaces, safer and healthier food, improvements in motor vehicles, along with improved laws that help keep people safe, the control of infectious disease, decline in deaths from coronary heart disease, family planning, recognition of tobacco, healthier mothers and babies, and fluorination of the drinking water. So let's talk about a few of these more specifically. Things like the control of infectious diseases. Infections such as typhoid and cholera um, were the major causes of death and illness during the early 20th century, but they have been reduced dramatically because of improved sanitation. We'll talk more about this when we talk about epidemiology. Improved sanitation means that you aren't walking through streets that are filled with basically um, uh, bad foul water because you have a way to flush that into a general sanitation system. Because of our improved sanitation, we have fewer infectious diseases being spread. Um, in addition, the discover, discovery of antimicrobial therapy has been critical to the success of public health efforts to control infections such as tuberculosis, tuberculosis and sexually transmitted diseases. Number six, there's been a decline in deaths from coronary heart disease and stroke. Um, these deaths have declined due to risk factor modification, such as smoking cessation and blood pressure control. Since 1972, the death rates for coronary heart disease has decreased by about 51%. Another thing that's happened that's improved public health is that we now recognize tobacco use as a health hazard. That was first recognized in 1964 and has, it has re resulted in reduced use and reduced exposure to secondhand tobacco and smoke. Number nine, we have healthier mothers and babies. Healthier moms and babies are a result of better hygiene and nutrition, antibiotics, access to health care, technology in maternal and neonatal medicine, and immunizations. Since 1900, infant mortality has decreased more than 90% and maternal mortality has decreased 99%. Vaccinations, this was number one on the list. So there are now 50,000 fewer cases of smallpox than occurred in 1900. 900,000 fewer cases of measles than occurred in 1940. 21,000 fewer cases of polio than occurred in 1951. Um, something like polio was something that was really feared um, and we didn't know how it spread. So with immunizations that definitely was an it impacted even our local area here in Los Angeles. Programs of population-wide vaccinations resulted in the eradication of smallpox the elimination of polio in the Americas and the control of measles, rubella, tetanus, and diphtheria in the U.S. and in other parts of the world. Now with measles, we know that there's been a recent outbreak and the cause was people not having their children vaccinated. We'll talk about this more, more when we talk about infectious diseases. Motor vehicle safety. Since 1925, the annual death rate from motor vehicle tra travel has decreased 90%. Seat belts alone have saved approximately 85,000 lives. Child safety seats have reduced risk of infant death by 69%. Community awareness and DWI, meaning driving while intoxicated, regulations have helped reduce alcohol-related deaths by 32%. We recognize that tobacco use is a health hazard. Um, in 1964, the Surgeon General put on this, this had the tobacco companies put on the side of the cigarette package that it was dangerous for health. And 
Also, we have reduced exposure to secondhand smoke. Research indicated that family planning, including planning, delaying, and spacing pregnancies, is linked to impro improved birth outcomes for babies, either directly or through, through healthy maternal behaviors during pregnancy. Oral contraception used has consistently been found to be associated with a reduced risk of ovarian and endometrial cancers. Also, the rate of teenage pregnancy in the United States has declined to its lowest level in 40 years. Between 1990 and 2010, it decreased from 116.9 pregnancies per 1,000 women aged 15 to 19 to 57.4 per 100,000, a drop of 51%. We have healthier mothers and babies, um, as I mentioned, because of better hygiene and access to better care. So this means that people are starting out healthier, and this gives them a chance to be healthier through their lifetime.